I'd like to welcome you to the Anaheim Convention Center, the largest exhibition facility on the West Coast, one of the largest LEED certified convention centers in the country, and now the host to the largest solar array on any municipally owned convention center in the country. Our utility has been installing solar panels in Anaheim since the late 1990s, including two police stations, a previous system on Hall D of the Convention Center, and at the Tiger Woods Learning Center. We in Anaheim are always looking for innovative ways to provide power to our customers at low cost. In terms of green initiatives, the city of Anaheim has always been involved with uh, kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. They want to see that we're moving towards a green power supply portfolio, and we've been doing that. We can certainly do our part at a local level to make a meaningful difference for future generations. We want to lead from a sustainability point of view. And as I say lead, I mean lead also in leadership and energy and environmental design. We had a mandate to adopt state legislation, SBX12, that directs all of the utilities to reach a 33% mandate by 2020. Right now we're ahead of the process by having about 23% of our resources coming from renewables. And the solar project, which we've just completed, is going to add to that total. You know, in terms of challenges with this project, there really weren't any. Uh, we have a great partner in the Anaheim Public Utility and a great partner with Borrego. From our perspective, this was one of the easiest projects we've ever undertaken. In the first half of 2014, solar was the biggest contributor to new energy capacity coming online in the U.S. We've transitioned from being fringe movers in the energy industry to mainstream players. If somebody asked me about going solar being too hard, I'd say, take another look at it. You can't beat the fact that you have a renewable source of energy that you can utilize at your venue to better enhance others' productivity. It is no longer a question of if we as a country are willing to move to a new clean energy economy, but now just a question of when and how.